Hey guys, what's up? It's Lucy. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film something that I have been wanting to film for a very long time and I'm very excited for. Ways to lower anxiety. And I'm filming this like vlog style because <laughs> to be completely honest, I didn't feel like going and finding my tripod, which is somewhere in my house. But I just <laughs> didn't have the energy to do that so this is how we're filming it and I was up last night like kind of late because I'm really I have really bad jet lag um but I was up last night and I was just thinking like I've been wanting to like talk about this for so long I don't know why I haven't yet so that's what we're doing today. As many of you know, um, I have pretty bad anxiety. And one of my favorite things is when people text me and they're like, Lucy, like I'm feeling really anxious. Like, can you please help me? Like, I don't know what to do. And then I like pull out my computer and I'm like, -da 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 -da, like typing all like all my advice and stuff. Because I think over the past year I've I can successfully say I have gotten control over my anxiety and it does get bad sometimes obviously because it fluctuates as many things do in life but I think I not I think I know that I have come a long way and so I think I have lots of insight on how to help anxiety so yeah so if you're feeling anxious and you don't really know why these are some things that can help you um, and I think the reason that like things like this are important is because a lot of the time people don't know why they're feeling anxious you know something can spark it like a social interaction of some sort or like just generally generally feeling overwhelmed with school but you know that's not always the reason why you're feeling anxious and it kind of translates into other parts of your life and it's just like a overall feeling the first way to um lessen your anxiety is to delete social media am i crazy yes does it work also yes so i delete snapchat quite frequently like at least once every two weeks just because it gets really overwhelming like having to deal with this kind of like seeking for validation like oh are they gonna respond to my snapchat are they not why isn't anyone snapchatting me blah 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 it's like oh god it just drives me crazy and so <laughs> when I'm feeling anxious I just delete the app of snapchat and instagram because it kind of like just completely separates you from um this constant like social feedback loop of like oh responding and then not whatever basically um so it just kind of completely disassociates you from all that like subconscious stress and it it like takes a weight off your shoulders basically number two get off your phone which kind of ties into the deleting social media but when you're when you're in this like state of anxiety you know you kind of like compulsively will check your phone and it's this like obsessive like um hyper analyzation of everything that's going on you know and when you when you're feeling overwhelmed and you can't really pinpoint what's making you feel that way um i find that just like putting my phone away and isolating myself from that is very cleansing and um it kind of gives you a minute to like okay recoup and like focus on my surroundings and what is in the present right now instead of like looking back on things or like freaking out about like what you're gonna do later you know what I mean it kind of gives you a minute to realize like okay everything's okay I'm in the moment right now you know I'm not dying I I will be okay you know and sometimes when you have your phone and you're completely distracting yourself with things that aren't really healthy you can't really have that clarity when you're looking at life three call a friend so when i'm on the verge of like a panic attack or something speaking to someone on the phone usually um really helps because it kind of put, not puts things in perspective but hearing someone else tell you that everything's going to be okay that like you like aren't crazy um 
all of your feelings are valid it really does help and I know it's hard to find someone that you can talk to that is um, kind of non-judgmental and will actually take you seriously is quite difficult but I'm I don't doubt that there is like at least someone in your life who you can talk to so calling someone really really helps or just speaking to someone in person even better four I go on the um, what's it called the quiet space oh um, the Quiet Space Project. So this was kind of a big thing like four years ago. Um, it's like a, I found it on Tumblr or something. And it's basically a website that is um, interactive and it's this like white screen and you kind of have a conversation with it but you don't like say anything. You tap your space bar to like go to the next um, saying or whatever. And it plays like very calming like piano classical music and it kind of... Um, it tells you to like silence your phone and stuff and it like just kind of like centers you almost it's like about like communication and stuff basically just go on the quiet place project um whenever i'm feeling like sad or like super anxious i will go on that and it makes me feel so much better and like just relaxes me um and then five which is um a big one um i would say is to um have a state change and the like simplest one I can think of is like showering because here's the thing about this and I I hate showering which is like crazy but I hate showering it distracts you and you go in the shower and that's like a solid like 20 to 30 minutes of you like thinking about other things and keeping your mind busy and you also feel very fresh and relaxed after you come out of the shower because you go in the shower you have to shampoo your hair condition your hair wash your body maybe even shave i don't know and then you come out and you can brush your teeth wash your face or then moisturize your face moisturize your whole body who the heck likes moisturizing their whole body not me takes too much freaking time and it's annoying but when you're feeling anxious it's a good thing to like put your energy and then it's like you feel nice and you feel clean and moisturized and just like better you know so like when when you are like freaking out or whatever kind of taking care of yourself in that sense it, it really does make you feel better you know and it's also you feel like different almost um and i think when i'm very anxious i get like very like overwhelmed with what um overwhelmed and like down on myself with like what I'm doing and like how I'm feeling and all this stuff so like usually showering um it just it, it distracts you and it makes you feel better yeah those were kind of like five little things um also like realizing that this feeling is temporary I think is a big thing um whatever's happening usually usually with anxiety there isn't anything happening it's you just feel anxious so that's why those little things um they will they won't cure your anxiety but they sure as hell will make you feel better which is like the most important thing but yeah um when you're feeling anxious do not drink coffee because i promise you caffeine will literally when my anxiety was really bad like a year ago i had to stop drinking coffee for like three months because oh my god it was horrible but now i have it under control and caffeine is like my favorite thing ever but when you're feeling anxious caffeine is not your friend okay after school you're like super stressed for a test or whatever don't go get a coffee just don't do it because you'll freak out actually if you're anxious for a test there's a difference between stress and anxiety when you're stressed sure have coffee i love coffee um if you're feeling anxious right now no, you're not alone. Know that this feeling does not define you and it does not control you and you can overcome it. I think it's beneficial to distract yourself with positive things, um, even some inspiring things, you know, go on Tumblr or find some artists, you know, find new music, things that um, are creative. Those really help. Um, but yeah, I'm very sorry. Um, if you're dealing with this alone um you can always dm me i'm always down to give advice or help at all because i was there i was there i hope you guys liked this video or got something out of it um subscribe for more i'll see you later Bye, then. Watch your car with the fire that you started in me but you never came back to rescue